I'm really scared of doing it, people. But we got it. Picked it up at Target today for $25. I'm really scared of opening this thing. Lots of negativity I've heard, but hopefully we can find some positives here. No intro. Let's do it. So, some people on the Jurassic Park toy forum, they're like, man, that looks like crap, but I want to buy it because the box art looks so good. You know what? The box art does look very good. I remember uh, this volcano is actually supposed to be in the film, so it's in this uh, concept production image for the box here. I actually do find this box pretty awesome. You can probably just put the box in the background and have like a couple dinosaurs in front of it as a diorama piece or if you're on a shelf or whatever. You can have it like that. Look at the sides. Nothing important there. Here's the back. Escape gate. Oh god. Biting attack. Looks like we get our basher by our T-Rex. Reiteration of defenses and gate from the first playset instead of Jurassic Park says Jurassic World and new flames. Mm. We'll see how this works out. T-Rex lockdown set when the Mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex comes crashing through the fence. Your only choice may be to stay in your ground or on second thought, run. Okay, and we have a net launching action. And of course, no humans in here. But we're gonna get to that gyrosphere in a second. That kind of includes a human. On this side, it's got nothing. Bottom, look for the stop and strike, the Mosasaur and this, ooh, the Wave 3 Stegoceratops. Still haven't seen that in stores. We've seen these other ones, so it's like, oh, I guess there is supposed to be a Wave 3. So let's do this and compare it all, shall we? I'm really scared. <laughs> Uh, you know what? It doesn't look that bad on first glance. Ooh, that gate looks really small though. Oh, let me got instructions. Tyrannosaurus Rex lockdown. Assembly. I don't need to see this, but I'm just going to show you guys. Put the stickers on. Put the gate flames in. Assemble it like that. Those are all the fences. Here's your net launcher. Put it with that. Your T-Rex. And your escape gate. And gyrosphere. Oh my god. It has some nice scratches on it already. Isn't that lovely? Let's get real close and see if I can show you. Yeah, there it is. You see it? Oh my god. How I mean, I can, I guess, keep it like that because, you know, a dinosaur attacked the gyrosphere, but some scratches and paint on the back there. You see the red? There it is right there. And there's a big ass scratch in the bottom there. See that right there? Yikes. Really small. This is like the size of a gumball quarter, two piece, half clear, half color cap toy. It's the same exact sizing. Here's the uh, Basher Biter T-Rex included. Looks like it's the same exact Basher Biter T-Rex. I like the uh, packaging on this. Wow, amazing job Hasbro. <sighs> Balancer out, same exact toy. All right, well there's that. Ugly as hell, worst dinosaur toy ever. All right, so the miniature fences, everyone's like, you can put this in a diorama with a Dilophosaurus. I will say this, they seem thicker plastic than these pieces. We're gonna get to the comparison here in a second. I mean, I do like the sturdiness of it. I will give them credit there. It seems they toned down the electric prods there. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, these fences are pretty solid construction. Stupid small. Looks like we come that down and uh, the electric prods come out of there. Please gate be of good size. It looks like it's of good size. A little smaller than this. It probably won't fit any vehicles. Ooh, this net launcher is a little weird. This is like pure rubber. It's almost like those little like stretchy guys used to have in like the 90s. Feels very sticky. Like the stickiness, I guess I'm talking about. So here's the net launcher. You just do something like this. Lovely. That's dumb. Uh, they could have done something better than this. Like what the hell is this? This is supposed to be a net or something that captures in the dinosaur? Like how? Uh, <laughs> dumb. So let's put this gate together real quick. So this really is supposed to go like this. Just backwards from the other gate. Makes no sense. Oh well. Well, maybe mine's backwards, but it looks like that's how it's supposed to go. Good old construction of the same one. I do like that this uh, these pegs look a little thicker than the pegs for that old Jurassic Park gate. Looks like the construction's a little bit better. I do not like these flames compared to the, the flames of the original. These flames are really cheesy. This is really strong that I really like it. I do like how sturdy the gate itself is. I do not like how small it is. You see the sizing. Sizing's really off. There you go, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. As you see, that is the gate sizing. Pretty big difference. The size of the fences, you see that this one's like a third of it. Really small. But like I was saying, this is actually pretty strong. I mean, yeah, it's, if it's dwarfed down, it should be thicker, but I don't know, it's just they did a good job reinforcing this thing compared to this guy's pretty flimsy. They did a good job with that. Can't lie about that. So let's get this all set up here. 
I really wish they actually don't even have stickers for the uh, gates themselves there. Like, you know, these these pieces have, you can see the, you know, the good old 10,000 volt stickers. Even the Hasbro gave us stickers for the Raptor compound playset. They didn't give us any stickers for these, so that's kind of crappy on their part. I also want to say that the platform on the gate of the first film, there is no platform on the Jurassic World gate. Not as play compatible, but more movie accurate. And there's also no little thing on the back here to hold the gates closed with a little wooden log like you do for this one. You see it? Right there. So that kind of sucks too. I don't know why they would take away that option. Let's get rid of a smaller lumber piece, but let's put in this ridiculously small gumball. Which is it in scale to this Basher Vitarex? Kinda, but no. I just want to talk about this stupid gate thing here, I guess. It's just supposed to... I, mean, I guess you're supposed to just like somehow throw the gyrosphere thing and it escapes out. But this is like really stiff. So I don't know how else you're supposed to just like, oh yeah, and then come out with the gyrosphere. It's kind of dumb. I mean, it's cool that the electric little rod shocker pieces, I don't know what, why the hell they would have that like that. It comes out, which looks cool, but design overall looks stupid. The uh, little gyrosphere ramp in the Irex Lego set's far better. So obviously here's the Basher Biter Rex. Not really, I mean, it's compatible with, you know, this set, but uh, in real life, this T-Rex should be about like right there. So let's see other T-Rexes. Here's your chomping and this set. It looks, I don't know, kind of in scale with this one. So I guess this one would work out just fine. The Stomp Strike would not work out just fine because the Stomp Strike is pretty big. I want to talk Legos because the Lego set is really expensive. If you had like, I guess an Indominus or something, and I guess this would be a good set for the Indominus. It's about right height. As you see, scale-wise, I mean, it's kind of insane. Not that play compatible. Here's just like a small basher biter. And you see it, the fencing. Fencing is even too small for a small basher biter figure. People were saying this could be a Dolphosaurus paddock. Not really. I guess it could kind of work for the D-Lo, but the D-Lo wasn't like this style fencing. This style fencing is the T-Rex paddock from the first film. And barely Jurassic Park 3 type of Spinosaurus, but had like barbed wire and stuff on it. But, I mean, this is, you know, not Dilophosaurus fencing. It's just not. Remember, the, the fencing wasn't like this. But is this compatible if you want to have a Dilophosaurus paddock? I'd say, yeah. You'd obviously have to buy at least two of these for any kind of enclosure, because this thing is small as hell. But there you go. You want your D-Lo paddock. I guess this is it. I guess it's about as in scale as you can get. Let's go like a, say like a pack raptor. Maybe. I mean, you can see. But you know, raptors can jump pretty high, so they probably jump out of this. Let's go big stuff. Yep, no way now. You can see that this Jurassic World gate is kind of a joke for the big stuff. Yep, kind of a joke. <laughs> Why do they have to shrink this? I wish they would have gave us like a shrunken down one and then more of that because I missed out on the JP3 stuff of the re-release of that fence and that gate. And then like this is just kind of an embarrassment for those. Look, they got Hobby Lobby. And if you see this and this set actually looks pretty cool. This fits in pretty nicely with these. So I guess this looks pretty good. Bam. Compared to maybe that one. So maybe your Popple stuff would look pretty cool with this. I mean, this, I guess, can barely fit the Irex vehicle tag play set in it. So let's go uh, gyrosphere real quick. Here's the gyrosphere in comparison to the vehicle attack play set gyrosphere. You can see it's really small. It's really dumb that they had this disc launcher here on top. You can take apart this gyrosphere and take off this, but putting this back together is a pain in the butt. I tried it before. I actually did a review for this. I recorded the thing and my audio did not record, so I, I pretty much couldn't release it at all. And I actually took this apart and took this disc launcher off. It looks a lot better without it, but putting it back together, you're gonna screw up the action feature. Everyone was like, oh, well, they're gonna release, you know, another one without it. I'm like, cool, but we have no lie. There she is, cardboard cutout of the action figure with the scratches on my gyrosphere. Really stupid. And then of course, the axis, it doesn't stay like the Lego. I guess you also want to see the size comparisons of the dude. And uh, yeah, that guy's like an inch tall compared to like the two and a half inch generic guy right there. You can see just the engineering of this. Yeah, there's only one, but I'm rotating it and he stays stationary in his 
in his pod. It's amazing. And uh, here we get guy, no rotating stationary gravity stuff, and he's paper. So you can see that the Lego one is even bigger, and Lego's usually small. The Lego one's even bigger than this small little piece of crap we got for the T-Rex lockdown set. So here's real quick the Jurassic World gate and the Jungle Explorer, and you see that this thing is probably not gonna fit through here. Nope, will not. Too small, so it kind of stinks. Obviously, the gyrospheres will fit through here, but I mean, none of the gyrospheres are in the film that go through this gate. And this gate in the film is like, you know, the monorail gate. Well, that came off very easily. <laughs> I was so busy, I forgot one comparison. So we got, you know, gyrosphere of Irex and Lego pretty much in scale. And then you have the gyrosphere and Indominus bad boy, which is pretty much not in scale at all. I'll put it in his mouth, too. See that? Yeah. Too small of a scale. So, Matt, we're gonna give it out of 10. Oh, man. I mean, this is only 25 bucks. I really do like the fences and the gate. Yeah, the gate's small. Really doesn't fit any vehicles at all through it. You know, the, the fences are small, but you know what? The fences are pretty sturdy. And if you do have smaller animals like a Dilophosaurus, it's not that movie accurate, but it'll work. The gate sucks because, yes, it's smaller, but there's no latch in the back here to close the gate up. That stinks. Gyrosphere sucks. This net launcher is pretty dumb. I mean, God, it's just a piece of shit. But, I mean, if you have this in a diorama, this actually looks pretty cool. This gyrosphere is an absolute joke. So the gyrosphere sucks. The net launcher is kind of a joke. But the fencing and the gate's nice. This is kind of a joke, but it's a nice touch, I guess, to have. 25 bucks? Yeah, kind of steep. But... I don't know. The box does look cool. Can I recommend picking it up? Maybe. If you really do want the small fences for diorama pieces or for a Dolphosaurus paddock, or maybe even a small raptor enclosure, I'd say go get it. Other than that, it's kind of dumb. Out of 10, what would I give it? I don't know why. I just want to say 4. Just give it a 4 for uh, pure nostalgia collector reasons. Uh, I think kids will like it, though. So that's all that matters. You know that some of these things are really stupid, including this guy. So these are pretty much like throwaway items and the other stuff to keep is like right here. So that's uh it's been the Tyrannosaurus Lockdown playset from Hasbro. Go get it at Target, that's where I got mine. So like this video if you already have it down below and click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed because I have lots of videos coming so stay tuned.